Welcome to Travel Tuesday with Teresa, the ultimate source of wanderlust inspiration. Join the journey led by your host, Teresa Belcher, founder of Honeymoon Islands. Hi, I'm Teresa Belcher, your host of Travel Tuesday with Teresa. Welcome to another episode, and I'm really excited today. This particular company has been on my radar for several months now, and I finally got lucky and got them. So we're presenting Nayara Resorts. They're located in Costa Rica, Panama, and Chile. And today my co-host is uh, Connie. Welcome, Connie, to the show. Thank you, Teresa, for having us today. Oh, you're welcome. And her colleague, Eva Nova with Nayara. Welcome. Thank you, Teresa. Thank you. Very awesome. excited to be here. Great. So I'm looking forward to your presentation because I actually do uh, a lot of planning to Nayara in Costa Rica, most and foremost. Mm -hmm. um, but I also have a few people that have gone to Easter Island, and I'm really looking forward to hearing about Panama because that's a new and up up and coming destination for people. So Connie, if you wanna share your screen, it's over to you. Thank you so much. Thank you everyone for joining us. Let me just, okay. just want to be sure that my screen is up. Okay. So as um, Teresa mentioned, I work for Nayara Resorts. I'm the director of sales for Nayara. Nayara has a history that started in Costa Rica back in 2009, where we had our first property, Nayara Gardens, our first resort. And from there, we grew and we expanded with different type of properties and different type of destinations. So now we have three resorts in Costa Rica. We also have a property in Panama, in Bocas del Toro, where we have over the water bungalows. And then we have two properties in Chile, one in the northern part of Chile in the Atacama Desert. And the second one, as Teresa mentioned, on Easter Island, which is a very remote island in the Pacific, five hours from the continent. And it's a very unique experience. So for those of you that are... Um, that have been hearing about Costa Rica. Costa Rica is an amazing destination. I just, I love it. I lived there for a couple of years um, throughout my work with Nayara. And in Nayara, in this area, which is um, just in the central area of Costa Rica, is where we have our three um, flagship properties, Nayara Gardens, Nayara Springs, and Nayara Dented Camp. Uh, when you hear about Costa Rica, Things that you have to keep in mind when you decide about traveling there is that Costa Rica is a very um, active destination. There's a lot of nature, there's a lot of activities to do. And in particular, in the area that we are located, which is the Arenal um, National Park, just outside the Arenal National Park, is what is known as the capital adventure of Costa Rica. So you have zip line, hanging bridges, you have rafting, um, trekking, hiking. All of that is part of the experience. But then when you go back to the resort, you find yourself in a place that has um, unique uh, food and beverage options. You have an amazing spa and everything surrounding your, your room and your experience is all about connecting with nature. So to get started, we have Nayara Gardens, which is our original resort. Um, we have 50 rooms here and we have uh, had a full remodel of all the resort um, through the last year. So 2023 was a year of, of change for us at Nayara Gardens. And now every single room has a private pool. This is something that makes our resource very unique. All our rooms are a standalone bungalow. So you have full privacy when you get there. Um, amazing views of the rainforest. And you have your private pool. That makes it so unique. Um, here we have, well, two different um, room categories with a bit more space, a wraparound balcony. And when it comes to the food experience, we have um, different options as well. We have our Asian restaurant with Asaluna. We have a more traditional Costa Rican cuisine with La Terraza. And we also have wine pairing and wine, taste, wine tasting experiences and nostalgia wine bar. So if you're a foodie, if you really like to enjoy nice meal when you're on vacations, this is a great destination. We have plenty of options. 
Moving on, we have Niagara Springs. Again, just facing the, the volcano. The particularity about this resort is that this is an adults only. So as soon as you walk into Niagara Springs, you can feel that it's a different energy here. It's very relaxed, it's uh, very quiet, and you have all these couples, honeymooners or um, anniversaries, all that kind of celebration is happening here. Every single room, again, is a standalone villa and you have king size for posters bed. And what makes it so different from Niagara Gardens in this case is that each branch pool is fed by natural hot springs. Being so close to the volcano, we have full access to the hot springs, uh, mineral waters. So we fit them into the resort and fit each individual pool. So this is also great for your skin, great for your bone circulation and everything. So you have that added value in there with your um, Niagara Springs experience. And when it comes to the food, here we have um, more options. We have private dining, if you want to um, have a romantic celebration or romantic dinner with your partner. Uh, we have Mis Amores, which is uh, an Italian bistro where we have our um, pizza oven, very popular throughout the resort. The pizzas are coming there and the flatbirds are breads are amazing. And then right here, what we have is a very, very unique um, gastronomic experience. This is a more local and it's our fine dining experience. And here we offer four course menus or seven course menus uh, that are particularly put together uh, as a gastronomic journey throughout Costa Rica. So with different ingredients from different regions of the country, our chef created this seven course or four course dinner uh, for our guests. So this is a one of the kind of gems that we have um, in Niagara Springs. One of the things that I should tell you is that the properties are all next to each other. So you can walk from one property to the other. So if you book with us, if you're staying with us, you have access to all these facilities. Doesn't matter which hotel you stay at. So if you're staying in Niagara Gardens, you can still come and enjoy dinner and at a more local in Niagara Springs, no problem at all, and vice versa. We also have our swimmer bar, we have our pool. This is a very popular area when uh, everyone comes back from the activities. After you spend your day hiking or, or trekking or doing your activities outside, our guests tend to come back and just enjoy the pool uh, and the sunset from there. And we also do have our own cafecito where we roast our own coffee. Costa Rica has a huge um, tradition of coffee and chocolate. So for our guests to learn about this part of the culture, um, about Costa Rica, where they're coming from and all the farms and everything. Um, for us, it's important as well that you get to explore a little bit more about the culture in Costa Rica. And last but not least, in Arenal, we also have Nayara Tented Camp. Nayara Tented Camp is the newest resort that we have in Arenal. Um, we open officially open in 2021 for a, for a means of purpose. Um, and here what we have is our glamping experience. So we wanted to bring that um, lux luxurious glamping experience from South Africa into the rainforest. So our tents are uh, comfortable. They have king size four posters bed. They have plunge pools fed by natural hot springs. You have a huge bathtub, indoor and outdoor showers as well. But what we wanted to create here, it was more a connection with nature. So every single tent is surrounded by the rainforest and they're all facing the volcano. This particular property is built on the side of the cliff. So every tent has unobstructed views of the volcano makes it a very, very unique uh, type of resort. And one particular thing that we have with this property is that it's family friendly. So if you're traveling with your kids, if you're traveling with your kids and your grandkids, we have those options of two bedroom and, and two bathroom tents. And we also have options of private residences where you have four bedrooms, you have a full kitchen, a main dining and seating area and entertaining. So for those that are thinking about you know, festive getaway with the whole family. This is kind of the type of accommodation that we can offer. We also have dining uh, options here where we have our Mediterranean 
uh, cuisine uh, with Ayla, and we also have our Henry's Bar where we do um, rum um, tastings and, and things like that. So you have different unique experiences that you can explore in each resort. And of course, a spa. When it comes to a spa and wellness, each property has its own spa. Um, everything is surrounded uh, by the rainforest, as you can see. And the one particular thing about our, our spas is that every single treatment room is open. So one of the things that I love the most and I share with all the guests and everything that if you go and try yoga in the morning or, or spa treatment and it's raining outside, it's just such a sublime experience because you have the noise of the of the forest, the rain, plus the oils or, or the music that is so relaxing within the treatment. And it's absolutely amazing. Um, and just as a general wrap up, if, if you're thinking about Arenal, you have to think that it's an active destination. You can still come back to the resort and relax by the pool and enjoy your book and a drink, but it's all about, you know, getting to see um, the sloths, monkeys, and do the zip line and the hanging bridges and kind of interact with, uh, with nature surrounding uh, the property. And now over to uh, Ivanova for our trip to Nayara Bocas del Toro. Thank you, Connie. Yeah, so we are now going to this beautiful private island in Bocas del Toro in Panama. Um, this amazing property is only 30 minutes to 40 minutes flight from Panama City or even from San Jose, Costa Rica. So if you're thinking about a great Caribbean uh, experience will, with great water, warm water year around, uh, and the privacy of a bungalow with uh, the, the ocean right in front of you, this is a perfect option. Um, as Nayara's brand, of course, the service, the amenities are over the top. And we have different room categories there. So this is the first one is over Waterpool Villa Deluxe. There are seven units like this. As you can see, you can enjoy a beautiful balcony. Well, yes, it's like a terrace where actually the pool is as well. Um, and here at the right side, you can see that actually even a boat can come every morning and pick you up for excursions and island hoping and Dolphin Bay uh, visits. That's the first option. The second one is an overwater pool villa. It's in a smaller pool there, but you will still have the option to enjoy cocktails or something in your balcony like that. Every room is uh, with a king bed, mini bar, um, and also is all inclusive. So this is an important thing. You have the private island offering you all the amenities and the different experiences you need. The third option is quite different. This is not our water bungalow. This is a tree house. And as you can see, it's a beautiful option for a real tree house experience. Even though this is with AC, high speed internet connection, you have like two levels. In the first one, there is the bathroom and bathroom with the AC. And on the top of that, there is like a 360 view of the forest and uh, the, all the green area that surrounds that the room, but even the water is something you can see from, from the balcony in the top of the room. So this is like a real tree house experience uh, in a luxury way. And it's not nice touch to, to combine if you want to stay, let's say four to five nights, you can have two nights in this kind of uh, very unique uh, room category. Uh, we also offer, of course, a great culinary experience mixing uh, or yeah, doing like a mix between Panaman, uh, Caribbean and Bali as well. This is interesting about our property. We have this combination of cultures as well. And even the restaurant uh, brings that to, to our uh, guest. So these restaurants are uh, over the water or on property inside for uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. How I said, it's all inclusive. So just uh, come to the restaurant and enjoy anything you want. Uh, we also offer other facilities like the spa. There is also a gym. And since this island is 80% mangrove, 
we have built these beautiful over the water beach. It's a platform where the guests, or in this case, you can come down and feel the sand and swim around that area. We will provide you with uh, equipment for snorkeling, kayak, and that's something you can do even without a guide. So you can just go around the island. And, and how I said at the beginning, we also have boats and private captains. If you want to add this into your reservation, um, we can have you know th this private captain and boat picking you up and taking you from all day long if you want to different areas around. There are many activities. This is something not too many people knows about uh, Bocas del Toro, and is all the national parks and different islands they can visit. Um, there is a lot of culture as well. So there are different excursions about cacao. There are excursions to the local communities, so you can get this connection with them too. And of course, a lot of wildlife and amazing views and, and dolphins. So there are many things to do. It's not just an island where you can just go and enjoy the property, which is beautiful, of course, but they will be activities around too and that's important in our um, properties because it's not just the beautiful hotel that uh, where you are staying. So that's about Nayara Panama. Um, you can uh, feel free to reach out to Teresa. This is a very nice combination if you want to come to Costa Rica and then Panama. Um, and then Nayara to Tecam is a completely different experience. We are going from the Caribbean water to the driest desert in the world which is amazing place is just out of this world. Um, so Nayar Alto Tacama is at the north of Chile. It's only like two hours fly from Santiago. So if you are doing a 19 hour in Chile, full of wine and different adventures, going to Patagonia, and then at the north, you will find this great destination. So uh, the transportation in between the airport to the property is included and you will get immersed into this property that perfectly blends into the landscape in there. Uh, the 42 uh, rooms are uh, in a perfect you know, combination with the luxury and also all the textures and colors that will make you feel that you are in an authentic property in the middle of the Atacama Desert. Uh, we have different room categories there too. There are three different options, but Catarpe is like uh, our standard room with balcony to the mountain range. Uh, there are king bed or twin beds. Um, we also have suites with indoor showers and the outdoor shower. So as you can see, the rooms are very unique are truly an inspiration coming directly from the dessert to this beautiful hotel. And of course, we have amazing experiences outside as well. It's very active. Um, we have restaurants and properties. So we have these open all day long for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. This is the bar killer inside and outside. Sometimes it could be very cold. So it's important for us to have something warm for you after your excursions in the desert. And then at night, these kind of dinners, uh, they are great with, of course, amazing Chilean wines. Then um, there are pools as well. We have six different pools and a bar outside in the pool too. Sometimes we do even barbecues there, which could be a great experience uh, to join. Um, so feel free to reach out and make the reservations for that because I highly recommend this experience. And then the spa. Uh, we have this amazing spa where uh, our guests usually after a hike in the morning or visiting the Geysers del Tattoo, that is a full day excursion, they can come back and do a spa uh, time there to get relaxed, uh, have some irritation in the skin. So it's a very nice option. Um, one of my favorite activities, and I went there uh, a couple uh, years ago, and it was the astronomical observation deck. We are the only property in uh, that area that offers that on a hotel. It's only 10 minutes walk from the lobby to this um, astronomical experience. You can go at night with a guide and you will get a lot of information about the Milky Way, the planets, the moon, and about everything that you want to learn about it. And it's, I think, one of the best things to doing in Atacama. It's dry, it's high, so there are no clouds, basically, or 
during the year. Um, so it's a great theme and, and I highly recommend that one too. Sorry, but it's my favorite one. And then, yes, how I, I, how I was saying, the activities in Atacama are plenty of options, actually. We have a great tour book where you can do hikes. There are many walks and, and easy. Some, some of them are very easy. Some other are more extenuous. Geysers and Tatio, volcanoes. It's a very interesting mix of things and even wildlife. Maybe it's not an ex it's unexpected to have this kind of uh, wildlife there, like birds, llamas, and um, different things that are around the property. Um, and even inside of the hotel, you will see uh, like a little farm there that to make you feel it's like in a little oasis. So that's about Atacama. I know that it's a completely different kind of experience from what we were talking before in Costa Rica and Panama, but this is uh, one of the in a lifetime experience that you have to. To leave. And then, well, the last but not least uh, of our hotels is Nayara Angaroa. Um, just saying about Easter Island is, of course, Moai is, is, of course, something that uh, I think that everybody has to go. Uh, you cannot find anything that, that is like Angaroa or Easter Island anywhere else. There are the Moais, the hotel is only five minutes from uh, this uh, airport and to these amazing views with the Moais. There are statues all around the island. And it's not just about that. It's not just an open air museum, but it's also very uh, full of excursions and adventures. Even this small island has so much to offer. Um, this is a very interesting picture of, from outside of the hotel. The two pictures are at the top are from Nayara Hangaroa, and the two that are down there are from Orongo Village. Uh, here you can see how inspired is the property directly from this culture. We are completely respectful of that, and it's very nice because it's a unique property that is truly inspired directly from, from uh, the Rapa Nui. So there are two different uh, kind of room categories. There are Kaingas and Maungas. These are 75 rooms in total with king beds. There are twin beds too, so it's family friendly as well. Um, the rooms are, all of them, the 75 units are looking to the water. Uh, they are not, there is not direct ac access to the beach. However, you, you will be able to see the ocean from, from the room. Um, the restaurants, well, the restaurants in, in Angaroa are different options. There are bars, there is a restaurant for breakfast and lunch, and there is another special one for dinner. Um, there is also a mix of things because uh, this is part of Chile, but this culture is from Polynesia. So they have uh, seafood, they have great wine. So it's a great mix of things uh, that you can enjoy. And the sunsets are amazing. So we have a lot of drinks uh, going on in the, in the pool area there. We are the only property in the island with a proper spa where the guests can actually feel the relaxation and just the adventure and not just uh, the rooms and the beautiful property, but also this part of wellness and do some yoga and meditation because this is very like a, a ritualistic style to do uh, the yoga there. There is a very nice instructor that could help you to enjoy these kind of things. And then uh, about activities that we were talking before about that, uh, ATVs, the hikes, the volcanoes, there are caves, scuba diving, surf. So there is a very, very good list of things, not just the Moais, that is of course the main attraction. However, there are many other things to do and we highly recommend at least four to five days there and in the one in Atacama too, because we know that um, that will allow you to enjoy all these amazing experiences and also the great uh, offer of, I mean, of um, um, amenities that we can offer you in a property. So that's about our properties in Chile and Panama. We are going back to Teresa now. Awesome. Thank you so much. You did a fabulous job. Um, I do have a couple questions, um, Connie yeah. and Inova, if you want to uh, answer. Let me, let's see. Sure. Um, so first of all, I want to go to all of your properties. 
Wow. <laughs> so Costa Rica, I'm really loving the fact that you have an adults only property. And you had mentioned that dining is interchangeable. So if you're staying at a family friendly resort, and can the family go over to um, Nayara Springs, the adults only, and have dinner? Not the whole family, unless they're over 17 years old. So okay. that's the only limitation in that uh, movement between the, the resource and the amenities. Awesome. So in Nayara Springs, over 17 years old, um, guests are welcome. Right. How far apart are the resorts? The tent and camp, you've got three. It's an easy walk, actually, and we do have golf carts that uh, can drive you around, but it normally takes five, seven minutes to walk from one property to the other one, so it's easy to move around. Awesome. And talk to me a, a little bit about the best time of the year versus not so great weather. I mean, you're representing properties that are open year-round, so people yes. can go any time of the year, but um, what's the weather like in Costa Rica? like in the summer versus winter mm -hmm. north of the hemisphere so, the right. yeah that, we, ha we have that as well so summertime here is winter time in our properties in chile and and <laughs> the other way around but when it comes to costa rica the high season for us is between november and april so that will be the best weather. You still have to think that is this is a rainforest. So you might have some kind of rain or just shower in the morning or the afternoon. Uh, one of the things that is great about having a property on the Caribe side, which is Bocas del Toro, is that during the times like September, August, September, October, that are not that great to be in Costa Rica and to try the beach in Costa Rica, which is something that most of our um, guests do. They uh, spend a couple of nights with us for the adventure and the activities, and then they go to the Pacific side to the beach. Instead of going to the Pacific, because that's the rainy season for us in Costa Rica, now you can combine Nayar and Arenal with uh, the property on the Caribe side, which August, September is great weather, um, and you don't have to worry about rain or anything else. So. That's kind of a nice combination that we have there in terms of um, seasons. And then, of course, um, it continues to be November till March, a good season to travel to um, Chile, mostly because um, that's the season where Patagonia is open. And most of the guests traveling um, down south, they're doing Patagonia as well as a combination with Hangaroa and uh, Atacama. So that will be the season for them. Awesome. And we were speaking before the broadcast. I had a client who went on an Antarctica cruise in December, December 10th to the 22nd, and they swung up. Instead of coming back to America right, right away, they swung up and did um, Easter Island for a few days and then back to America. So, and they loved it. It was a great, you know, you don't think so much of, oh, let me swing over there. Yeah, to exactly. To Stay yeah. in Eastern Island before coming home, but they were their thought was, well, we're already in South America. It would be a shame to go back to South America to a different area. You might as well catch it all in one swoop. That, that's the thing when you're when you're kind of catching that flight and it's such a long haul destination. And I know it takes a lot of planning, planning ahead, and to put everything together. Uh, but for me, if you're doing Patagonia already, or if you're doing Antarctica already, kind of stopping by in Chile and do something around it, either in the south of Chile, Torres del Paine, or kind of like your clients did, top it off with Hangaroa as a one in, once in a lifetime um, trip. That's amazing. Or just put together the whole itinerary and do Atacama, Patagonia, and then Easter Island at the end. So you can go back to the States quite easily. Awesome. I want to circle back to Costa Rica. Talk yeah. about the tinted camp. Does it does the tinted camp accommodations have air conditioning? Yes, all of them. <laughs> that was kind of like a back and forth in the at the time of development and design, where we were like, so let's leave it open. And then it was like, no, 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 we're not leaving it open because it gets it gets quite hot out there. It, it um, does. 
And then once we said, no, we're not leaving it open, we're going to put a C on it. And 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 that's kind of a, it was a fun part of the development of the tents. But yes, they all have indoor and outdoor showers. They all have ACs. Um, but you can see like in the picture right behind me, the tents are still there. Um, so you have that feeling of, of um, safari kind of thing, but it's all the comfort that you need. Awesome. Well, I thank you both for doing the presentation. It was a wonderful presentation. I'm looking forward to going to Panama. I've been to Costa Rica, I've been to Chile, but I really want to do a deep dive into that Panama. Yes, process. Let us know when. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So if anyone got inspired and you your emotions are moved to want to plan your next trip to one of the Nayara resorts, just reach out to me. I'd be happy to help you. I'm Teresa from Honeymoon Islands. And my email is on my website, which is honeymoonislands.com. And it'll be listed below this video and at the end of the presentation. So until next time, bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Stay tuned for more episodes that will unveil new horizons and immerse you in the beauty of global discovery. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Until next time, if you can dream it, we will create it.